Hey everybody, I'm Robert, the Zombie Bargain Hunter, and today is what sold on eBay from June 15th through the 21st. Anyways, um, been doing a lot of listing, well, not listing, drafting, actually. Haven't been wanting to take pictures for some reason, just, uh, see doing pictures and just like, uh, I don't feel like it. You can see over here, watch, let me turn the camera. You see that pile right there? Not the cat. <laughs> uh, that's how many drafts I have because I just haven't been feeling like doing pictures lately anyways uh, after this I have to start doing pictures but yeah just haven't been feeling like it anyways let's get into it here let me show you this first <laughs> you can see I have 56 drafts because I just the last uh, couple days I haven't been feeling like doing pictures so, I gotta quit fiddle farting around and get all those listings up, but... Alright, let's get into what's sold. Alright, this is for June 15th to the 21st. I did $2,176.92. That is 28% down from the prior week. Uh, these aren't even... I don't know what the selling costs and... This they actually included my anchor store fee of three hundred dollars, so we know the those selling costs aren't right. So I still gotta go through these and check eBay's math because these do not look right. But anyways, they're there. I guess type uh, type of guideline, but eh, whatever. <laughs> All right, the first one that's all. This is a DC Comics Arrow. A hood ornament got this when loot vault which is a subsidiary of loot crate they closed down I think they reopened now but yeah they did like a 90% off and I think I got these for like 50 cents or something anyways I probably have like a good 20 of them sold one so far <laughs> so not a great buy on my on my part but hey make mistakes <laughs> Uh, this is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter Alchemy. Alchemy? Uh, I think I said that right. Anyways, it's like a sea snake with wings. You can see there. Let me show you over here. Yeah, I got these figures from GameStop for, uh, I believe they were $3 each. And this one sold for $19.79. Alright, this uh, Fozzy Bear, Wacky Wobbler, uh, he wasn't in the greatest shape. You can see like the paints coming off there. Get a close up. Yeah, so he wasn't perfect. I made sure to mention it in the listing. Look at pics. Uh, figure is not perfect. Anyway, I still sold him for $19.99. So, that was good. Uh, Dracula, this guy... I, I don't know why these are selling. Like I said before, if you listen to my other videos, they look like they were like out of the 99 cent store. They're just small, cheap figures. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's not even great detail, anything, but they're selling for good prices. This one sold for $21.59. Uh, this one I had... <laughs> Probably a good eight years. This is that's right, that's wrong for Dr. Wongo. You can tell by the nasty green background. Anyways, um, finally got rid of it. I just I was dropping the price and finally sold for eight oh nine. So I'm glad to get rid of that one. Uh, this is a Loot Crate Bethesda Welcome Home hat. You can see the little guy there. Nothing special, just a video game hat. I finally sold all of them, and they sold for from from fourteen to twelve fifty nine, depending on if they were on sale or not. Uh, this is a Bandai Sailor Moon. I've shown you these before, so no need to go over it. She's just a little cute figure, Japanese figure from Sailor Moon. Uh, she is selling for $19.79 and three sold so far. Uh, Mickey Mouse Memories pin. They got a ton of these from the Disney store. 
probably had a good 20 or maybe even 30 of these. Anyways, they sold for $19.79 each, and that was my last one. Nintendo Game Boy uh, plush throw blanket. Uh, blankets are still selling. <laughs> it's crazy for me in California, being that it's probably 102 right now outside, so I'm not going outside anytime soon. It's probably around 80 something in my house, which sucks. <laughs> Anyways, uh, six sold for twenty four twenty nine. So, blankets are still selling well. Uh, this one I found in the back of the it fell in the back of the rack, <laughs> or uh, in my storage area. And since the other one sold for fifty around fifty plus, I decided to price them at eighty nine ninety nine. Since the other one sold so fast, I'm like, what the heck? Why not jack up the price? See if I can get the last one sold for a big number. And it finally did. Uh, it took a little bit of 10% off, but it sold for $80.99. So if you've seen my videos from a while ago, I used to sell these like crazy around the $50 mark. Yep, Fight Nights at Freddy, so keep an eye out for those. Uh, Archer, another one of the loot crate, uh, or loot vault, like clearances, boxes and perfects, just him drinking a beer. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, sold another one, well, I've sold, I uh, sold out the first 10, this is the second 10, and sold another one for 11.69. Uh, this is Marvel's Legends, Guinness Vell, sealed figure. Yeah, nothing special about him. <laughs> Got him from GameStop for I believe three or five dollars. I forget which one this one came out to, but yeah, sold for fourteen thirty nine. Uh, this Journey sign had it for a while. Got these on clearance at Hobby Lobby. They were marked like a dollar, and it was like. 80 or 90 percent off of that so it was really good deal so I got a ton of metal signs uh, this one sold for 2069 diamond select toys Jessica Jones showed you this one on my shipping video hmm not sure why the pictures aren't coming up anyways uh, yeah I only have one picture deleted the rest okay okay EB. <laughs> Um, anyways, um, got her for five dollars. No, got her for ten dollars on the on a, a GameStop sale, and sold for forty forty nine. Uh, sold a bunch of pop sockets. Like I said, I'm not gonna go through all of them, uh, but they they range from fourteen to seventeen dollars. Sold probably a good ten this week, and yeah, pop sockets are selling well. I've said before, I can't believe pop sockets sell they're just little tiny pieces of plastic that go on the back of your phone but but people like them so if you f can find pop sockets with good characters on them for sure pick them up all right on to the plush we have a bunch of plush that's old uh this is the first guy this is moomin finn white hippo he's a little anime hippo he is tiny even tiny uh plush sell so you find tiny plush, pick them up if they're interesting. Don't pick up generic ones, I wouldn't do that. But if they're interesting, like this white hippo, pick them up. I mean, they sold for $16.19. What did he cost me? Maybe a nickel at the bins because he, he weighed like under an ounce. So yeah, for sure pick weird, interesting, small plush up. Uh, this is a Wild Republic uh, gray brown dog. Or husky or wolf or whatever he is. <laughs> uh, found him, of course, at the bins. Um, paid almost nothing for him and he sold for $13.49. Alright, this is a Bill LeBear Superman, Man of Steel. Uh, eh, come on, click through. <laughs> Got a little Superman logo on his nose. Got it on his foot. Now, he actually had a cape and uh, other things on him, and I sold those separately for another $13. 13 or 14 
And this one sold for $17.99. Uh, this is uh, Figaro the Cat. Actually, this is uh, the same one I sold uh, a few weeks ago. I just... They looked similar. They looked exactly the same, except the tag was not was different. So what I did is I just I erased the last picture of the tag and <laughs> I just put them back up. I just relisted them. You can see the the picture. I don't show you what's on the tag at all um, because they were exactly the same. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's a little trick. If the figure is exactly the same, just remove the last picture of the tag and relist it. That's what I did. Um, this one sold for thirteen forty nine. I believe the other one sold for fourteen. So, yeah, about the same price. Uh, this is SpongeBob SquarePants, Sandy Cheek Squirrel. Uh, SpongeBob always sells well. Um, not SpongeBob himself, but I mean Mr. Krabs, uh, Sandy, Squidward. Uh, sometimes Patrick if he's different, but look for the odd characters. Basically, on every plush or stuffed animal, you look for the odd characters. They will always sell more than the character that's flooded in the market. Anyways, this one's a sandy squirrel, and she has on like a little dress, and sold for seventeen ninety nine. This is again Mud Hippo. Has no code. Um, nothing special about him. Just just a cute little hippo. I mean, <laughs> uh, very small he's like 11 inches long I actually found another one right after I sold this guy so he was an easy relist anyways he sold for 11.69 this is a tiny blueberry ripple blue unicorn plush that is a mouthful <laughs> um, person contacted me hey I want a couple of cheap toys I just like here I have I sell her, uh, sent her a list of all my toys that are around $10, and she picked this one out, and oh, okay, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> anyway, she's sold for ten seventy nine for a tiny little, I'm not going to even say that word again. <laughs> uh, this is Hello Kitty. I actually sold two of them. They're both back-to-back -back right here. Sold two for 20 just to get rid of them. They're very small. They're like six sound or six inches and under uh, some someone needed a couple of hello kitties was like make me a deal I'm like okay here you go have two for 20 and get them out of my life <laughs> all right this is a uh, wild republic vampire bat this one actually went out of the country he paid 30 I think 35 dollars to get it shipped to him so someone really needed a vampire bat somewhere anyways um yeah, he's a really cool bat, but I wouldn't pay no $35 for him. <laughs> of course, got him out of the Goodwill bins for like 50 cents. And he sold for, I think, I believe it was 35 So I pay like $11 to ship him ten ninety nine with pirate ship. And the rest is mine. This is a little Aurora baby harp seal. Just a tiny little seal. I'd like to show you the ones that... Um, even sell for a small amount. I like to show it to you because it just um, proves that you can sell them, even the tiny ones. I mean, <laughs> even the tiny crappy ones that you think that aren't going to sell that you want to redonate, they sell. There's no reason to give them, give them back to Goodwill or just get rid of them. Just put them up there; they will sell. I mean, eleven sixty nine for little tiny. And it's barely nine inches long. It might be like three inches high. So, yeah, it's worth it to get all those listed. This is a pink uh, chick duck. Kind of weird looking duck. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it's a strange old duck. Uh, got him out of, I believe it was Walgreens for like, I don't know, 30 cents. It was a 90% off sale, of course, after Easter. And he sold for twelve fifty nine. Uh, the Gingy Gingerbread from Shrek the Third. Uh, love all the Shrek characters. They always sell very fast. You're looking for a quick flip on plush. That's one of the best. Is Shrek. Shrek sells almost uh, within a couple of weeks, and when you put them up, 
maybe even overnight. Anyways, he sold for nineteen seventy nine. Uh, this is Monday the Bullfrog. Uh, person bought two of them. Same price of thirteen forty nine. I don't know. I guess he wanted one for each hand, but whatever. <laughs> uh, just a funny little bullfrog with a story in his uh, mouth. Goes through what he ate in the day. Whatever. <laughs> okay, he sold for thirteen forty nine each. Uh, another Lego Joker. Uh, plush soul got this from a Lego park they were clearancing them out Let's see there he sold for 16.19 and seven have sold so far I still have eight available this is a little finding Nemo Dory sea otter I don't know his name they, did they just call him a sea otter I guess I should have researched his name, but he has this genuine patch you can see right here. Always look for those patches, they will bump up the price. Even though this one was missing the tag, which is sad. Or I'd probably bump them up to like $20. Anyways, he sold for $15.29. This is a large realistic gorilla. He is holding a banana. I love banana monkeys as you saw as the as the thumbnail. <laughs> Uh, banana monkeys used to sell uh, very very well as soon as you put them up they would flip like right away even generic ones like the one I showed you in the thumbnail of the video um, anyways he sold for twenty two forty nine. not bad for a little he's a generic monkey just holding a banana this is uh, Disney monsters uh, Mike and Sully these are just bell clips hit them all had them here for a while, had them listed for a while. I decided to drop them a little bit, and they finally sold for $17.99. Cole's Care, if you give a mouse a cookie, blue overalls. Um, these guys do very well. The mouse a cookie and the dog, I believe it's dog a donut. <laughs> they usually sell $15 to $17. No. This guy will go up to 20 every once in a while. I had him listed at 18.99, and he sold within a couple weeks um, for 17.09. So keep an eye out for those guys for sure. Uh, this is Real Akuma, small little anime, tiny plush. I took a best offer of $10. Uh, kid contacted me. Yeah, hey, I got $10 left. I'm like, fine, take it. He's like five inches, and so yeah, sold it for $10. This is Tiana, the girl frog princess. Not the best picture. Probably should have put her on the ba black background. The green usually pops on that. Anyways, she's like 15 inches long from the frog princess, like I just said. <laughs> and she sold for $17.99. I believe she took like uh, four weeks to sell. So, not that long for her. Wild Republic, uh, lifelike sounds lion. This is one from the some institute. I always forget what it's called. Um, they put the lifelike sounds in the animal, so you squeeze their belly, and it makes the realistic sounds. Uh, five sold so far for fifteen twenty nine. Uh, Phoenix Gang Snoopy. I just got him uh, last month for it was a. Dollar fifty a piece, and then you get all that Cole's cash nonsense and all that. Um, yeah, so paid about a dollar fifty a piece, and the first one, oh, two have sold for fourteen thirty nine. Uh, Domo, Domo's actually another one going out of the country. He paid a, it was like twenty two dollars to ship him out, uh, maybe more. Yeah, it has to be more because I pay, it was uh, $10 to ship, so he had to pay more than that. Yeah, so I guess around $30 for Domo. Someone needed a Domo bad. <laughs> Anyways, uh, he was 9 inches, a little bit bigger than the normal size Domo, so someone needed a bigger Domo. <laughs> he sold for $13.49. I, yeah, I don't remember what the 
what the uh, shipping cost was on top of it, but I know he sold for thirteen forty nine plus they paid shipping to ship him out of the country. Finn the adventurous human. Um, this guy flying off the shelf. As soon as I get this guy listed, um, he is selling really fast. Um, surprised with this one because I've had a few other of his uh, character line from his uh, Adventure Time line and they didn't sell very fast. I still have a few. But the Finn, I guess the main character, is selling people that want him. <laughs> and he sold for sixteen nineteen. Uh, dirty Peppa Pig. She's got, she's got mud all over her face. Really looks good on the black. He's got the shiny feet. You can see right there. Anyways, um, she sold for fifteen twenty nine. So Peppa Pig's usually a decent flip. I mean, you're not gonna be rich with fifteen dollars, but yeah, it's it's a good little flip. Uh, these bunny rabbits got them off of, I believe it was Walgreens. Rite Aid, one of those companies. Whatever this green <laughs> comes from. CVS, I <laughs> uh, got a ton of these. Probably a good hundred of these. Um, about two years ago. Uh, these were the last two that sold for eleven sixty nine. So Decent on those. This is a I Love You Dad from a March of Dimes. Uh, you never know if these are going to sell well or not. They're all different. All the March of Dimes ones do okay. I mean, they sell for 10 to 15. But some will sell for a higher amount. This one sold for 13.49. So you never know with March of Dimes. Some people are looking for them. Some people just said, ah, just pass them by and go, ah, I don't want that crap. <laughs> uh, this is a Christmas penguin. Just got this one up uh, last week. In fact, I think he was in my uh, one of my bag openings last week. Anyways, uh, he is what, what size is he? He is about 13 inches long. Has a little scarf around his neck from Aurora, and they paid 14.39 for him. Here is a little Red Devil Halloween toy. I told you, I always tell you, look out for Halloween toys. There they are. Great, they sell. Uh, there's not a lot of them out there, so anytime you can list something that's Halloween, put it up there. I and mean, even with these terrible old pictures, <laughs> he sold for twelve fifty nine. Yeah, I should have done better on the pictures. He probably would have flipped faster. Anyways, like I said, he sold for twelve fifty nine, and he's out of my hair. <laughs> um, this one actually is a weird one. I sold this guy two weeks ago. And somehow he got relisted and he sold again so I had to contact the buyer and send him the money back because I don't know how he got relisted but eBay did something because I know I didn't relist it so it was a weird glitch or something that he got relisted after I've already sold him so that was very weird uh, this is a Build-A-Bear Lion WWF World Wildlife Fun Stuffed Animal. He's about 12 inches. He's a really cool looking lion. You can see his face. There, There's his tag. You want to, uh, if you can find some of those. Um, they, he sold for $17.99. Uh, Wind Horse. This one I did not have any comps on it. I didn't even think it was going to sell. I just threw it up there for $25 and was hoping eh, maybe someone will find this eventually. But yeah, he sold within a couple weeks. So someone was looking for him or maybe just stumble across him while he was looking for win collectibles or something. Yeah, there was zero comps, zero anything about him. But he sold for $22.49. This is a little gray silver shark from Fiesta. Mm, nothing special about him, except he's nice and shiny. <laughs> uh, he's barely what six inches high. But yeah, fifteen inches long. Just a just a shiny shark. 
He sold for fourteen or thirteen forty nine. Uh, Moana characters. Moana is hot right now still. So you find any Moana characters for cheap? Throw them up there. Get them up there fast, because as soon as I f throw them up there, they sell. This one sold for seventeen ninety nine. This is a Kakamora three plush coconut clad pirate figures. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Masha and the Bear is another hot uh, animal. I I put I listed this man if I could speak. <laughs> I listed this higher than anybody else had theirs listed. Um, listed at thirty dollars and it sold pretty fast. This one you push his belly and it makes like a growly sound. Uh, it sold for twenty six ninety nine with my ten percent off discount. So keep your eye out for Masha and the Bear for sure. Uh, this is a little fox and sailor dress. Had her up there for probably a good year. Just sitting around. Actually couldn't find her because I had to put her on the wrong shelf. <laughs> uh, anyway, I finally wound up finding her. And she sold for $14.39. I hate when I put them on the wrong shelves. <laughs> uh, here's a little funny uh, sock monkey reggae worm. I didn't know how to describe this thing had this guy for a while finally someone wanted to buy it I'm like um okay take it I don't know if it's handmade or what you can see right there has like a weird button yeah it has to be like a handmade <laughs> Whatever. I didn't throw it away I stuck it up there and it took yeah like I said it took a while to sell but anyways I got 11.24 for it so I'm glad to see it go Maybe someone will like that thing. Oswald is another uh, Disney toy you have to keep your eyes out for. He has the long ears. Let's see right there. I like him on the blue background. Makes him pop. Especially the black and white animals where black doesn't look good. White doesn't really look good. Uh, I like uh, third background just to make him pop in the pictures. Anyways, yeah, he sold for $23.39, so for sure keep your eyes out for Oswald. And last but not least, this is a Bubba Gump. <laughs> Louis the, Sh the Shrimp he is hilarious. Look at this guy. He's just sitting around there, laying down. He's from Fiesta. Uh, he sold for $15.99. <laughs> yeah, that shrimp is hilarious. I love that guy. Anyways, uh, that's all I have for you today. A little bit shorter video because it is hot in California. I got to get my fan back on. I can't turn on the fan with the <laughs> microphone right here. It'll be interrupting you. So kind of rushed through a little bit. Sorry about that. Anyways, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And don't fiddle fart around. Get all your listings up, guys. Take care. I got to take a bunch of pictures. <laughs> Bye.